significant in our lives today. While preparing the speech, I felt I should illustrate much of what Exeter means to us. After careful con consideration, I found that Robert Frost best describes our achievement in his poem, The Road Not Taken. Apparently, I am not alone in this feeling about Exeter, for Ms. Brewer offered another interpretation of this poem in her baccalaureate service on Friday. Two roads diverge in the yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other as just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted wear. Though as for that, the passing there had worn them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling with this aside. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence. To rose that version of wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. It was not long ago that we were faced with a choice of paths to follow into our high school careers. Whether it was four years or three terms ago, we all had to choose between staying at home in a comfortable, familiar environment, or entering a new life of multiple challenges, both academic and social. Many of us had to decide between living under the guidance of our parents or taking on the independence necessary to succeed at Exeter. For most, it was a choice of either following the established system at home or breaking from the mold and committing ourselves to a unique high school environment. Every Exonian here today went through these questions thoroughly in their heads before deciding to attempt the challenges, take on the responsibilities, and most of all, live in an environment completely foreign to any other they had experienced before. I know in my decision-making, I was not only influenced by my own feelings, but also by those of my peers, who mistakenly wondered what it was I did wrong to get sent to Exeter, and often assumed it was a military school. There were even a few times at Exeter when I asked myself, why didn't I just stay at home? Or wondered how simple my life could have been if I hadn't come to Exeter. I may be a rare case in this experience, yet I feel it helps you all to understand the relative difficulty of choosing to attend and entering a school as unique as Exeter. Now is the time when I can confidently tell you all that after the overwhelming challenges, the stressful assignments, the intense Harkness discussions, the difficult teachers, the competitive nature of the student body, Saturday classes, and most of all, the many, many long nights of procrastination, my choice to attend Exeter is the most rewarding decision I've made to this point. I can now go home and honestly say to my peers who once doubted my choice that I attended Exeter to succeed in life. For the same things that make Exeter a difficult and trying place also reward students, now turned alumni, with the qualities and skills which allow us to prosper. We all leave Exeter with unique experience, which justifies our decision. We leave Exeter with a stronger independence, a finer sense of who we are, an unparalleled and an unparalleled education empowered by the philosophies of our founder, John Phillips. A philosophy where hard work and striving are deemed just as important as the knowledge as the, as the achievement itself, a, philo a philosophy born from the tenets of goodness and knowledge, which still hold true today, a philosophy which we otherwise may not have obtained. For the opportunity which you, our friends and families, have provi provided us, we thank you. We thank you for the support along the way at those times when Exeter seemed almost too much to bear, and when the road more traveled seemed a little more tempting. Two roads diverge in a wood, and we, we took the road less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Thank you. We have two special guests on the platform today. It's my pleasure to introduce them to you. First, the president of Exeter's trustees, Ricardo Mestres, class of 1951, he joins us today to honor the class of 1995. I ask you to join me in recognizing and honoring a distinguished member of the Exeter faculty on the occasion of her retirement from teaching. Mimi Denton Brevar, instructor in music and emerita head of the music department. Mimi.
It is my pleasure now to introduce Andrew W. Herdick, Dean of the Faculty. Dean Herdick will be retiring as Dean of the Faculty, returning to the classroom after seven distinguished years of service. He takes our gratitude with him. Dean Herdick. From the income of funds placed at its disposal, the Academy awards the following scholarships to graduates attending colleges. The James Dwight Arnold Memorial Scholarship for the freshman year at Harvard College is awarded to Dana Jason Atakai. Three Lindsey Crawford Memorial Scholarships for the freshman year at Harvard College are awarded to Jason J. J. Catherine Tomford and Kirsten Brooke Trainer. A George Sutro Lowenstein Memorial Scholarship for the freshman year at Harvard College is awarded to Christopher Joseph Tillman. A Warren Williams Jr. Memorial Scholarship for the freshman year at Harvard College is awarded to N. Me Sung. Five Hubert E. Teschmacher 1874 scholarships for each of four years at Harvard College are awarded to Rebecca Levin Garrison, Katerina Anna Josephine Harf, Jonathan Michael Harlow, Kristen Nicole Javaris, and Thomas Atterbury Knox. The Stephen E. Hyde Memorial Scholarship for the freshman year at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill is awarded to Tate Haynes Sullivan. The Kappa Sigma War Memorial Scholarship for the freshman year at college is awarded to Hannah Harding Purdy. Two Robert Wilson Kessler Scholarships for interim programs of study or travel are awarded to Jeremiah Heath Leibowitz and Brenda Myra. Four John Parker Compton Memorial Scholarships for the freshman year at college are awarded to Olivia Catherine Aranda, Heather Linnea Daly, Marlo Taryn Hunter, and Jennifer Marie Rappel. It's hard to you. An E.S. Wells Kerr Memorial and scholarship for the freshman year at Princeton University is awarded to Sarah Hobbs Pruitt. A Hinckley Stedman scholarship for each of four years at college is awarded to Harold Nathaniel Brown. And a business club of PEA scholarship is awarded to Shane Richard Lassard. We now turn to a group of honors uh, where we ask that the recipient come forward to receive individually uh, his or her award from the principal and the president of the senior class. The Yale Cup, awarded each year by the Aurelian Honor Society of Yale University to that member of the senior class who best combines the highest standards of character and leadership with excellence in his studies and athletics. The Cup is awarded this year to Christopher Joseph Tillman. The Ruth and Paul Sadler Class of 1923 Cup awarded each year to that member of the senior class who best combines the highest standards of character and leadership with excellence in her studies and in athletics. The cup this year is awarded to Catherine Tomford. The Perry Cup. Established by the class of 1945 in honor of Dr. Lewis Perry, eighth principal of the academy, and given annually to a senior 
who has shown outstanding qualities of leadership and school spirit. The cup this year is awarded to Alexandra Elizabeth Charters. Cup, established in memory of George Lind Richardson, Jr., and given annually to a student who, having been in the Academy four years, has, by personal qualities, brought distinction to Phillips Exeter. The Cup is awarded this year to Harold Nathaniel Brown. Esky Clark Award, given annually to that scholarship student in the graduating class who through hard work and perseverance has excelled in both athletics and scholarship in a manner exemplified by Esky Clark of the class of 1919. The award this year, it goes to Sarah Hobbs Pruitt. Thomas H. Cornell Award, based on a vote by the senior class, is awarded to that member of the graduating class who exemplifies the Exeter spirit typified by Thomas Hillary Cornell of the class of 1911. The award this year goes to Jeremiah Heath Leibowitz. The president of the trustees will now join us to make the following awards with the principal. The Cox Medals, given by Oscar S. Cox, Esquire, in memory of his father, Jacob Cox, are awarded each year to the five members of the graduating class who, having been two or more years in the academy, have attained the highest scholastic rank this year, the awards are presented to the following individuals in alphabetical order. Olivia Catherine Aranda. <laughs> Katerina Anna Josephine Harm. Kristen Nicole Javares. <laughs> Jason J. J. Faculty Prize for Academic Excellence is awarded to that member of the senior class who, having been two or more years in the academy, is recognized on the ground of scholarship as holding the first rank. This year, the, the prize is presented to Thomas Atterbury Knox.
us rise and join together in singing the hymn, O God, Our Help in Ages Past. <laughs> On behalf of the class of 1995, I am now pleased and proud to present the Academy with this year's senior class gift. This year our class raised a record-breaking $3,441, a sum nearly twice that of any other senior class. Furthermore, as part of their 50th reunion campaign, the class of 1945 has presented our class with a matching gift, bringing our grand total to $6,002. Our gift will provide the funding for the entrance and sitting area for the new alumni stadium, which the Academy hopes is completed by this fall. Thank you, class. What a wonderful gift. You're leaving a piece of yourselves. I hope you come back and enjoy that beautiful area and let us see you. This is my chance to say goodbye to you. It serves also as a last moment of instruction in that I will try to tell you something about yourself, yourselves, that I believe to be true of you and that I believe will add to your sense of who you are and that you are indeed equipped to leave Exeter, ready to leave Exeter, ready to continue your life's work in the wider world. Work that must, and you know I believe this, absolutely must and will make that wider world a better world. I tell you, it's very odd to have you on either side of me, not in front of me. I've grown accustomed to your faces looking at me. I've grown accustomed to Brendan's red head as a beacon. <laughs> and all that restless energy spreading out from the beacon. Ah well, this change from the accustomed challenges me to do what you do so well, class of 1995. Let us listen to the bells. <laughs> Remember those bells. Take them in. Keep them.
Without you on either side of me, I am challenged to do what you are so good at, to adapt, to accept the difficulty, which is very minor in this regard, to bounce back and to go on. You have proved to be, after all, individually and collectively, in things great and small, the comeback kids. Thinking of all the things you are as a class and as individuals, I have to call attention to a character trait that is worthy of note today, worthy of praise, and well worth cultivating your life long. I speak of your resilience. Exeter would certainly like to share credit for your resilience, to share credit with your parents, to share credit with your DNA, and I think we deserve a little credit. Your resilience has been honed by your Exeter history. Now, I don't, of course, presume to know your private Exeter histories, the way you know them or your parents know them, the way your friends and the faculty may know them. I can only ask you to hold those histories in your minds as I speak. Be full of the consciousness of your own story as I speak. Two years ago, a conversation with one of you helped me invent a character who figures in many Exeter stories, the beast in the bricks. Your Exeter story has had its share of beasts, beasts in and out of the bricks, beasts with numbers and letters tattooed on their foreheads, perhaps the number 333, or the number of the disappointing game score, perhaps letters like C and D, maybe even F. Beasts saying no or get lost. Beasts whining and nagging in the night. But your Exeter story has been just as full of triumphs over the beasts, quick escapes, remarkable recoveries. Beasts tamed, turned, and branded with A's and B's. Beasts renumbered 14 to 9. Wrestling with the beast has made you resilient. You, your head, your heart, your body, you have emerged strong and limber, stretched by the experience, the Exeter experience of bouncing back time after time. You know what it feels like to find energy after exhaustion, to find cheer after cynicism, to dance after stumbling, to find chicken patties the night after lentil burgers. <laughs> Heavens, to wake up on your graduation morning to the rain and to graduate in the sun. That's God's own metaphor for your resilience. But there's more about you seniors than just hardiness in the face of adversity. It was one of you who showed me how one lunchtime in Wetherill how to transform a lentil burger into something really quite delicious by adding feta cheese and salad dressing. So take this as a homely example of the something more about you, an example of the creative energy fueling your resilience. The something more about you is nothing less than an astonishing, an astonishing capacity for hope. Your brand of hope, class of 95, is a renewable and renewing source of energy and power. It's also very hard for you to hide. For one thing, there's a kind of wackiness about you that gives your hopeful selves away. You've been spotted wearing Birkenstocks in the snow, for heaven's sakes. You're often found stuck to the cold Exeter ground, communing with the sun or the stars. You've been heard singing in the dark. Music in the dark, sun after the rain. Know this about yourselves. Your hope, your hope is a transforming power. You have not merely overcome misfortune, you have transformed it. Two who have studied with you this year, Jamie and Alastair, have faced the ultimate darkness as part of their Exeter stories. We have learned from them and with them and with their families 
the power of hope to transform ends to beginnings, darkness to light, death to new life. And for all of you, all of you, your Exeter stories of resilience show the transforming power of hope. Your disappointments have been like seeds dying in the dark earth to nourish new shoots, new possibilities. Your mistakes, your mistakes have been like grains of sand irritating the oyster, growing to pearls, to insight, to understanding. Facing up to your own shortcomings, you have filled what is empty in yourself from the abundance of friends, and you have given of your own abundance to meet the need in others. Many of you have left Exeter for a time, by choice or by necessity, but all of you who have left have turned the time of separation to good use, healing, growing, making your presence here today more significant for your absence in days past. And this is a great day for you. It is a celebration of a thousand thousand transformations, transformations of disappointments to possibilities, of mistakes to insights, of debates to understanding, work to accomplishment, study, to education. This is a ceremony full of light and life, light that fills the darkness of death and separation with radiant meaning. Today is a triumph of hope. So you are ready to leave. May your life continue as you have learned to live, learn to live it during your Exeter years. May you meet your difficulties and misfortunes with resilience. May you continue to transform misfortune to new growth. And as your life's work widens to include the misfortunes, the difficulties, the injustices and cruelties facing others, facing all those connected to you by bonds of family, community, or humanity, as you embrace this work, as you must embrace this work, remember that it is hope that makes your resilience powerful and beautiful. Keep hope with you always. Take care to tend it in others. Most especially, take care to nurture hope in every child whose life you touch. Nurture it as we have tried to nurture it in you. So go with hope, go with my blessing. Goodbye, Godspeed, very well. And now, first row. Chandler Alsop. <laughs> Brian Michael Altman. <laughs> Trisha Cavadu Blanica. Michael Broom. <laughs> Christiana Burmester. <laughs> John Folk Cassabry.
Quentin Chu. Craig Edwardus Goral. Katerina Anna Josefina Harf. Elias David Hill. Marlo Taryn Hunter. Carolina Worthen Lee. Lorencia, Lorencia Gigi Lee. Junko Nagal. Michael Theodorus Reed. Kirsten Brook Trainer. Georges William Basilio. <laughs> Elise Nazim Abdallah. Brian Edmund Adessa. Ginger On. Jimmy Hisu On. Philip Nathan Andelman. Mindy Leah Anderson. Olivia Catherine Aranda. Elizabeth Catherine Ahrens. Dana Jason Adekai. Montiel H. R. Avenenti. <laughs> Aisha Deneen Bailey. <laughs> Abigail Lane Baldumas. John Kilgrew Ballantine. <laughs> Curtis Tran Berry. <laughs> Jared John Bartok. <laughs> Jonas Wilder Beals. <laughs> Hey, why do you stand in the shade? Eileen Kanoko Bemis. I don't know where they went now. Mm -hmm. I see him. Brett Thompson Bullyu. <laughs> Jeremy Haywood Beer. Bishop. <laughs> Catherine Winslow Bissell. <laughs> Gustav Arthur Blomquist III.
Michael Bovem. <laughs> Stephanie Lake Bow. <laughs> Abigail Addison Bradford. <laughs> Bradford Blaze Briner. <laughs> Harold Nathaniel Brown. James Elliot Brown. Heather Crichton Bryant. Marie Antoinette Wingbia. <laughs> William A. Bush. <laughs> Darren Donahue Byrne. <laughs> Olivia Del Pilar Caelo. <laughs> Rosora Campos. <laughs> Christina Yvette Carroll. <laughs> Anne Irene Chalmers. <laughs> Candice Yi Jun Chang. William Herbert C. Tung Chang. <laughs> Alexandra Philippine Victoria Shantakai. <laughs> Alexandra Elizabeth Charters. <laughs> Ashley Burcombe Chase. Anita Alora Chatterjee. <laughs> Anthony Dan Chen. <laughs> Elaine Chen. <laughs> Christopher Xavier Chu. Mark Sung Cho Cho Erwin Jin Ho Choi Divya Chopra Wingsy Choi Henry David Clark Elizabeth Janine Clark Pounder Cecily Ruth Conrad Charles S. Cook. <laughs> Michael Connors Creedon Jr. <laughs> William Goddard Chrisman. <laughs> Catherine Cross. Shannon 
Ken L. Cummings. <laughs> Vanessa Maljean Curry. <laughs> Sonia Davia Stoket. Dawson. <laughs> Wilmeka Dean. <laughs> Peyton Boylan Deeks. <laughs> Rashid Alexander Delgado. Bridget Elise Demerit. Charmaine Patricia Dennis. Emily Jane Derringer.
Allison K. Gladstone. Patrick Apollonio Gonzalez. Andrew Harris Goodman. Matthew Jeremy Gould. Don Judith Grayson. Jason Alexander Graspaugh. John S. Griffin. Rickson Bartley Hacking. Wesley Thomas Hansen. Alexander Stewart Hargrave. Gautam Harjai. Jonathan Michael Harlow. Neil William Harris. Christopher Michael Hartman. Rebecca Louise Harbell. Kenji Hasegawa. Guy Estabrook Hield. and I take a picture with your hat on him. James Lawrence Heggie. Look at me, look at me though. No, stand next to Danny. Micah Landford Hamani. Andrew Quintard Hilton. Jay. 
Alexander Bert Johnson. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Christina Yoon Ju. Chiron Andre Joseph. Laura Sujun Kang. Sukjin Kang. Lena Raj Kanto. Elena Kaufman. Carlin Nadine Kavanaugh. Robert Corby Kelly the third. Kirsten Peacock Kern. Raja Rajesh Khanna. Alexander Jeffrey Kim. Christina Mimi Kim. Square one. David H. Kim. Dong Wu Kim. Eugenia Jenny Kim. <laughs> Hajin Kim James Kim Yumi Kim Daphne Cecilia King. Maya Adrienne Kinney. Elizabeth Timberlake Kinter. Naomi Byrne Noble. Thomas Atterbury Knox. <laughs> Mimi Chi Yang Ko. <laughs> Annette Song Yi Ko. <laughs> Valerie Paige Koshalev. Sandra Lisa Kozlowski. Sarah Rebecca Crisson. Igor Franciszek Kritza. Michelle Hui Shan Kwok.
Catherine Wing Han Kwok. Monique Elizabeth Lacour. Oi Har Lam. Catherine Elizabeth Landry. Wendy Wan Zi Lau. Albert Han Lee. James Jung Lee. Jeffrey Jean Lee. Keith Leonard Lee. Michael Da Kang Lee. Jeremiah Heath Leibowitz. Shane Richard Lassard. Nice Leon. Mary K. C. Leon. Aaron Andrew Levy. Michael Ben Lynn. <laughs> Elizabeth Waterman Lyle. <laughs> Yang Yang Lu. <laughs> Christina Yoreda. Sheila Natalie Lloyd. <laughs> Eleanor Herpic Law. <laughs> Andrew Everett Lewis. <laughs> Christina Ann Love. Charles Culver Losner. Shu <laughs> Shen Lu. <laughs> Kia Gil Louis. Leslie Neil Hugh McLeod III. Brenda Myra. Sheil Kamal Mann. Ned James Mason. Jason John Mather. Darth Eric Magnus May. Ian Benjamin MacArthur. Brian Campbell McCarthy. Michael 
James Hunter McCarthy. Snacks. Robert James McKenney. James Alexander McKennell. Laura Stanton Mengi. Owen Thomas Milbury. Wesley Paul Millard. Gregory Todd Miller. Robert Rockwood Mitchell. Alistair Meredith Moore. David Henry Mortlock. <laughs> Kenneth James Monroe. <laughs> Hugh Keenan Murtaugh. <laughs> Atisha Mutitacharon. Elizabeth Braun Root Nathan. <laughs> Julia Chi Yan Ng. Todd Lawrence Nichols. Alexandra Elise Nimitz. Adrian Whitman Navola. William Collins Nugent. Aaron Ann O'Day. Tyler Matthew Olbrace. Allison Nicola Olcott. Wendy Maria Ortiz. Carlos Federico Osorio. Amanda Ovington. Young Pig. Joshua Ormond Panis. Chu Wan Park. Liza Rebecca Pasanisi. Brenda K. Patterson. Sarah Zoe Patterson. Wilhelm Edwin Paukert. Althea Lee Wei Pang.
pizza corn benefit. David Benjamin Pink. Alyssa Noel Flesco. Elijah Winchester Porter. Francois Patrice Poulin. Oliver Poto. Dwight Houston Pearson Pringle. Sarah Hobbs Pruitt. Hannah Harding Purdy. John A. Pernicescu. Jason Paul Rancatori. <laughs> Margaret Susan Randall. <laughs> Martha Judith Randall. <laughs> Erica. James Tyler Roberson. Andrew J. Rohr. Michael Craig Ross. Jeffrey Scott Rotundi. Robert William Rowan. Abraham Michael Rutchick. Hannah Caitlin Ruthven. Kirk Peter Sorry. Teresa Ann Saycash. Yes. Nadia Elaine Saliba. <laughs> Amy Nicole Sanders. <laughs> Jesse Oliver Sanford. Jeffrey Joseph Savageo. Michael Christopher Schneiderite. Amy Ann Sholkoff. William Hagler Seabrook. Lindsay Rebecca Sellers. Hold on to it like let her jump. Melissa Dewan Shaw. <laughs> Zona Jean Sharpman.
Thank you. Stephen Joseph Shea. <laughs> Kelly Marie Sheehan. <laughs> Vivian D. Shen. Randy Alyssa Sherman. Allison Lindsay Shinsato. Julia Rose Levy Silverman. Fiona Julia Abood Smith. Graham Bruce Smith. H. Kerner Smith III. Jason Han Song. Thomas Randolph Stannis. Natalie Sharon Stewart. Jeffrey David Stockwell. Holland McKinnis Stewart. Tate Haynes Sullivan. Enmi Sung. Soxith Suwon. <laughs> Sylvester Charles Spiozla. <laughs> Micah Hirota Swa. <laughs> Yasha Droll Swisher. Jessica Ariel Talamas. <laughs> Jonay Michelle Taylor. <laughs> Hope Marjorie Temple. John Stewart Tiedemann. <coughs> Christopher Joseph Tillman. <laughs> Catherine Tomford. <laughs> Arthur Trister. John S. Sien. <laughs> Meredith Lewis Turner. <laughs> Sham Vassaretti. <laughs> Anthony Michael Volpon. Christian Peter Borking. Benjamin Avery Wagner, Jr. Acacia Blake Ward. Heather Marie Watson.
Rachel Candace Weatherspoon. Timothy Matthew Weems. Micah James Wingren. Christine Jacinta White. Sara Kahan White. David Joseph Wiest. Julie Patricia Wilhelmy. Alexandra Rebecca Wilkes. Brenda P. Yang. Angela M. Yim. Carolina B. Zing.